I'm Katrina Cotton for Invest in Pitch Media. Thanks for joining us today. Sitka Gold released assays for five additional diamond drill holes, completed as part of the company's Phase 2 Summer 2022 drilling program at its RC Gold project. The RC Gold project, a contiguous district-scale land package, consists of 376 square kilometers or 92,900 acres. Located in the newly road accessible Clear Creek, Big Creek, and Sprague Creek districts in the heart of Yukon's highly prospective Tombstone Gold Belt. It is strategically positioned midway between Victoria Gold's Eagle Gold Mine, which is Yukon's newest gold mine having reached commercial production in the summer of 2020, and Sabre Gold Mine's Brewery Creek Gold Mine. 16 diamond drill holes were completed, totaling 5,250 meters during the program, with assays previously released for the first six holes in September, and an additional five holes still pending assay results. The current results are from holes 32 to 36. Drill hole 33 was drilled on a section 100 meters southwest from Discovery Hole 21, below drill holes 27 and 28, at an azimuth of 320 degrees. The hole intersected predominantly metasedimentary rocks with narrow zones of both mineralized and post-mineralized dikes associated with the development of the strongest structural zones and highest gold grades. Hole 33 returned 19 meters of 1.03 grams per ton gold from 292 meters and 10.1 meters of 1.56 grams per ton gold from 104.6 meters. Drill hole 36 collared 165 meters to the northwest and on section with discovery hole 21 encountered the megacrystic intrusive unit associated with the core of the blackjack zone from surface to a depth of 385.9 meters before crossing into metasedimentary country rock. Significant gold mineralization was most predominant in the upper half of the hole and associated with sheeted style quartz veining. Hole 36 returned 132.1 meters of 0.51 grams per ton gold from 34.9 meters and 1.1 meters of 20.4 grams per ton gold from 282.9 meters. Drill hole 32 collared approximately 230 meters east of Discovery Hole 21 and drilled to the northwest with the same azimuth encountered strongly altered metasedimentary rocks to the final depth of 386 meters cut by numerous structurally controlled mineralized and post-mineralized dikes. Sheeted quartz vein mineralization was generally best developed in and adjacent to dike emplacement resulting in abundant zones of low-grade gold mineralization. Drill hole 34 collar to the northeast of the blackjack zone to test a significant gold in soil anomaly ended in metasedimentary rocks at a final depth of 174.1 meters with no significant gold mineralization. Drill hole 35, collared at the northeast edge of the blackjack zone, 300 meters west of saddle zone, hole 19, was designed to test for mineralization hosted in intrusive sills and metasedimentary rocks, similar to the intersection in hole 19, which returned 80 meters of 0.59 grams per ton gold. The hole intersected numerous intrusive dikes and stacked sills within the metasedimentary host rock, similar to those encountered at the saddle zone before ending at 244 meters depth. The second phase of drilling was designed to further expand the blackjack zone and to provide a solid database of drilling data to understand controls on mineralization observed in both intrusive and metasedimentary host rocks, while also potentially providing the necessary spatial density to generate an initial resource estimate. Assay results from Phase 2 drilling along with structural information obtained from oriented drilling, data from detailed core logging, reprocessed LIDAR data, and interpretation of an airborne magnetic geophysical survey will form the basis for planning of Phase 3 drilling program. This table shows the previously released Blackjack Zone drill results. Core Co. CEO stated, 
The results from the second set of drill holes from our summer drilling program continue to intersect broad zones of anomalous gold as we drill test areas proximal to the core of the intrusion-hosted mineralization in the Blackjack Zone discovery, where hole 21 intersected 220.1 meters of 1.17 grams per ton gold from surface that included 50.5 meters of 2.08 grams per ton gold. The intersections reported contribute to the potential gold resource that Sitka is drilling in the Blackjack Saddle Iger Corridor as we test the metasedimentary hosted mineralization. As highlighted by the intersection of 80 meters grading 0.59 grams per ton gold in Saddle Zone Hole 19, located 600 meters to the east of the intrusion hosted mineralization in the core area of the Blackjack Zone. We are eagerly awaiting the results of the remaining five diamond drill holes from this Phase 2 drilling program, several of which contain visible gold and have the potential to expand the intrusion-hosted mineralization in the Blackjack Zone within our district's scale, Road Accessible RC Gold Project. The company is well-funded with shares trading at 11 cents. For more information about this project and the company's other projects in the Yukon, Arizona, Nunavut, and Nevada, where up to 1,500 meters of drilling is currently being completed, please visit the company's website at sitkagoldcorp.com, contact Donald Penner, President, at 778-212-1950, or by email at dpenner at sitkagoldcorp.com, or Core Co. CEO at 604-817-4753 or by email at cco at sitkagoldcorp.com. I'm Katrina Cotton for Investment Pitch Media.